Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to my thrift haul from New Jersey. So last week, I was up in Scott Old Curiosity Shop's Neck of the Woods, and we did some shopping in his area. Uh, we didn't do as much as we've done in the past because his truck was having problems, and yeah. So we went to some local shops, and uh, we found some decent stuff. Uh, you know, random pish posh everything. You know, that's me. If it's fun and interesting and a good price, I will pick it up. Uh, like I said, we didn't do as much shopping this time, I felt, just because we had late nights, we were sleeping in because we weren't sure what the situation was going to be with his truck, and so forth. But we still both managed to find some pretty decent stuff. He took me to some places I'd never been to before, so that's always fun because you just never know that one shop could have the one thing you've been looking for forever. So in no particular order, let's go ahead and see what I was able to score. I guess the first thing we can show is this Ron Ray Bluebird of Happiness. As I understand, these are actually not made anymore. There were two of them. Unfortunately, one of the beaks uh, was chipped. I did pay six bucks for that. I don't know if that was good or not. This one I may consider holding on to because this is actually just a year after I was born. So it was signed by, I don't know who that is, Leah from 1996. So I may hold on to that one until I find another one. I sold my other little one that I had, but I wasn't expecting to find a big one. I found this, and I'm let me tell you, I have some stuff for springtime. So this will probably go with one of my spring sales. It's just a um, chick pottery creamer. It could have been made by any of the major pottery companies. So that was fun. I did get two yellow fridges for three fifty dollars a piece. Um, free of any damage. They're in really good condition. I have to see if I have these or not. I'm almost positive that I do, but I'm not sure if I'll be selling those or not. Some of these items you will have seen before because we did do a live thrift haul on Scott's channel, but some of the stuff you did not see because the first day that we went out, I put the bag of my stuff in my car and then I just brought another bag from when we went to the other stores. So, I don't know if you all know, but I do collect Salem North Star dishware and um, sets. So, these are probably coffee cups, tea cups, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they are not marked, well, they're marked USA, but they aren't marked Salem North Star. Uh, anytime I find this stuff, I do buy it because I love it. And I actually have a whole box of this stuff. So, I can't wait to put this in my mid century themed home. So, I couldn't leave those at the thrift. I did get a Joseph Original Birthday Girl. This is probably for May, I think. It just says Joseph Original Japan. And amazingly, her arm is not broken off and her head is not broken. There's no damage on her at all, which is remarkable for a thrift store. These are cool. Uh, it's a set of coasters and ashtrays with the card symbols on them. You get two ashtrays and three coasters. So those are cool. I'll have to clean those up a little bit because they're a bit dirty, but couldn't leave those. This was super interesting. This is a big creamer, and it's got a girl jump roping, and it's advertising the Furnace Factory, uh, Continental China, Super Durable, SRGS. So that's interesting. I almost want to say that maybe that was a promotional giveaway for that company. Who knows? This I picked up at an antique mall. It is super cute and kitschy. It's to hold your, hold and serve your cheese and crackers. We've got mice here. I do want to note there is one little ding right here and there is some paint chipping on the ear, but you know what? I felt that those little flaws were forgivable and somebody would still want this. Thank you to everybody who was at Scott's live show and told me that this was left in because you are correct. That is a uh, left in stamp right there. It is just missing the foil sticker. This 
is awesome. This is made or was made by Hall, H U L L. If you guys can see that, probably not. I forget what this pattern is called. I know I've seen it before, just never been able to afford it because it's always expensive at the antique malls and such. I did find this. I love smiley faces. I don't know if I've ever told you all that, but I used to collect them. And then I kind of just slowly but surely trickled away from the smiley face world and I got into skulls and then it just kind of escalated. But I love the sun catchers and I know that you all do and anytime I can find them inexpensively, I will pick them up. This little bug uh, brooch, I do not know if it is new or old. It, it very much screams 1960s, 1970s. Um, I do know that Betsy Johnson, I'm sure you guys know who she is, um, makes stuff like this. So this very well could be a Betsy Johnson piece. Um, but I really don't know. I just love the colors. The colors are so awesome on it. And I think it's supposed to be just like a fly or some kind of bug. I have no, like a beetle maybe. I have no idea. Now this is probably a Christmas piece. It's of a lady and she's holding a gift. So like I said, I assume it's probably Christmas. From the 1960s, like maybe early 60s or maybe late 50s. I have no idea who made her. Probably, oh, there's remnants of a sticker right here. Maybe Relco. I have no idea. But I have something similar to this, but I may hold on to her because she's great. Just got to make sure I don't break her. Now this I need to look up and see if it has any value. All it has is a Made in Japan sticker on the bottom. It was $2.99. Um, yeah. But um, uh, St. Patrick's Day is coming, so I need to get this listed as soon as possible. I almost want to say that maybe they sat on a bench or something, like a wooden bench. I don't know. I'll have to clean that up a little bit and then list that right away. Now I know, and I think there might be even some more than just this. I think I maybe purchased three Hummels. I don't know where the other one is right now, but I know that Hummels, uh, some of them do okay, and some of them are just not worth anything at all. But when you find them as inexpensive as $2.99 at a thrift store, you just kind of kind of jump on them. So this one looks like a, an image of a little boy, and it looks like a goose is scaring him, or he's just like, what is your deal, bub? Uh, this one does have the... The West Germany mark on the bottom. So this is one of the older ones. I think it says 1959 right there. 195 something. 19550, I think. So that's definitely one of the older ones, especially because it says West Germany. And I almost want to say that I saw this guy here. He looks like the chimney sweeper at a an antique store in Charlestown, West, I'm sorry, Charleston, West Virginia, when I was on my way to Kentucky last summer. And he didn't have a price on him. And I asked the dealer or the people at the mall if they would call the dealer, but unfortunately they were unable to get a hold of him. And of course, I'm on a road trip, so I wasn't able to uh, stop back. But he was cute. He was $2.99 as well. I thought that was a fair price. And I may keep this guy because I think he's awesome. There is another one that I'm looking for and I've seen, but I don't want to pay $20 or $25 for it because, you know, Hummel values, like I said, depending on what they are, depends on like, sometimes what the value is or how old they are. But some Hummels are just fun. And they're, this is a fun one to me. So I, I had to have them, especially because he was so inexpensive. This I really don't know anything about. I just thought it was really cool. It's just a wooden box. Probably was in the kitchen holding some recipes or something like that. And it looks like somebody at one point put this little, like, lion doohickey on it. So somebody may want that, uh, maybe for springtime, or maybe they can put, like, some Christmas recipes in here. I mean, there's so many possibilities with this. I've had this planter a few times, and I actually have one in green for myself. It was probably red at one point, because there's red paint right here. But people like these for Valentine's or heck, if you just like to decorate with this kind of style, this would be good in cottage or farmhouse. So I had to pick that up and that I got at a different thrift store. Oh, let's show this. So I did find, I had to be really careful around these figurines. I found this giant elephant, this brass elephant uh, made in Korea. 
He's got the tusks, which are I'm amazed that we're not broken, or the tail, because usually that kind of stuff, when it goes to the thrift stores, it's pretty badly broken. But he was only five bucks. I decided to go ahead and grab him. Um, so that may be coming to a sale very soon. I know that brass can be popular in the mid-century, uh, definitely in boho, or any, if you just love brass. I know brass is kind of slowly but surely making a comeback. So anytime I find these figures for a good price, I will pick them up. I'm going to be really careful. Okay. So we got these. Double shot shot glass. That's just really, really fun. Made in Japan. That's just a fun little novelty item. Somebody would probably like that. Ooh. Uh, running with the sun catchers. I know that you all love them. And when I can find them inexpensively, I'll pick them up. We've got a koala bear. with. It looks like there's a little baby on him. How cute is that? This one I'm kind of contemplating on keeping because I like the colors and such on it. We will see, though. I'm trying to see what else is around me. Oh, yes. I did pick up a bunny rabbit planter. With Easter coming up, you know, you got to pick up all that stuff early if you can. Uh, this one was marked D-A-N-N -N Imports Japan. And that was only three fifty, dollars so I had to pick that up. Reference books. I know that you all like these. If I can find them inexpensively, I will offer them at a live sale. Those are usually offer ups. Uh, this is the standard encyclopedia of carnival glass. And you know, it's nice to have some of these on hand, but I do know that there are people out there who've been looking for these or just would like an updated copy of what they have already. So that is definitely cool. I also found this fish mold. It's marked West Germany. You can see it was three ninety nine. dollars um, It's marked West Germany right there. So this is an older piece. I'm not sure if these have any value. I may save this for an industrial sale with Katie of Vintage and Vinyl. By the way, that should be coming up at the very end of this month. We're going to try to do it at least once every month at the end so that way she has some t uh, time to find some more things. So stay tuned for those. I know you all really like those. The sales, of course. I also found this. This came from an antique store. This is just a little, like, makeup vanity set. Oh, hello. So it's got a porcelain bottom, and then it's got a mirror that flips. It needs to be cleaned a little bit. That does come apart, so when I ship it, it will not uh, break. So I think somebody is going to absolutely love that. Ooh, if I don't... Break it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here because we're 12 minutes in, and then I will go ahead and uh, show you some more stuff. All right, so moving along, some more fun thrifted stuff. This is adorable. This is a really heavy-duty picture frame. It's got bunny rabbits on oh, it. I thought it was super cute. So somebody would probably like to put an Easter photo in here, or if you just love bunny rabbits in general... This is what the back looks like. Very sturdy, heavy duty metal frame. You don't really find that too often anymore. It was only two bucks, couldn't leave that. Now I did get two cocktail shakers. This one I'm probably going to save for the fall time because it's got pheasants on it. So that of course will probably be cleaned up and ready by the time I sell that, maybe come late August, early September. No maker's mark, oh well. No, no maker's mark on it. Still has the stopper to when you mix up your drinks. So I'll definitely be selling that. That's going to go on my fall shelf. Now this one is very clear and kind of, well, you know, you know, not that clear is bad, but I actually picked this up for $4.99 because on eBay several, probably sometime last year, I bought the Hazel Atlas sailboat cocktail glass for a really good price. And I needed this to go on here. So I'm going to be putting that on here. I'm probably just going to donate the clear glass or redonate the clear. So that's what's going to happen with that. So like I did say before, some of this stuff you will have seen uh, when we went live on Scott's channel. And this was one of them. Um, I do collect 
old lunch boxes and thermoses. Anytime I find one in decent shape, I do pick it up. And that is the case with this Land of the Giants one from 1968. Made by Aladdin Industries. Um, this is not the proper cup for it. I'm going to have to find one of the little stoppers to go on there. Which I'm sure with time I will find. Um, I did pay $25 for this one, but... They are, they'll, sometimes the thermoses are more valuable than the lunch boxes, so I'm just waiting to see if I can find the Land of the Giants lunchbox for a good price. So these came from two different stores. Um, I'm sorry, no, these didn't. These came from the same store. These are just vintage Valentine's Day baskets. I've never seen them before. They are not marked anywhere, so I'm not sure who made them, if they could be Rosebro or Rossbro. Have no idea. They were a good price, so I picked them up. Sometimes with certain tins, you just never know. Uh, this one is really cool. It looks like an old treasure chest. It's marked Made in West Germany, so I know that this is older. Just pop the lid right off. It does need a little cleaning, but I thought maybe if you wanted to store maybe like some keys or I don't know. Possibilities are endless with pieces like this. You could open it up and display stuff in there. Put a Zen garden in here. Whatever you want to do. This is cool. This is a stamps, paper clips, and rubber bands box. And when I found it, there were still some stamps in here. That is marked, what does that say? Team line, top quality team line USA. So that was fun. We did go to a restore and it was probably one of the cooler and better stores because it was big and the prices were pretty good on a lot of the stuff they had in there. Some things they had a little bit more money on, um, but you know, that's kind of typical with a thrift store. But overall, there were some pretty good prices on a lot of the things I was looking at. So I did see this really nice luster wear teapot, probably from the 30s or 40s. Uh, this is not my taste personally, but I know that there are people out there who like this stuff. Uh, this one is marked... Uh, Mapco PALT made in Czechoslovakia with a gentleman with an athlete on there. That's a specific symbol. It's just not coming to me right now. Free of any damage. Like I said, it's not really my taste personally, but that mother of pearl iridescent luster, I know that people do like. So that will probably be saved for an, an, a sale that I do with Scott as an offer up. This I also got at the restore. This is really, really cool and deco looking. Uh, it's made by Lennox. It's a soup, I think a soup, not a soup tureen, but a soup bowl. And it's their pink coral terrace, if I'm not mistaken. Terrace coral, pink coral rim, something like that. Uh, there's the underplate. It is marked Lennox, made in the USA. Somebody, I forget who it was. Uh, I know KP helped with this also. Um, and... I think these are on a site like replacements.com. Um, somebody has them at $69.95 each. I did look this up on eBay after getting the uh, pattern name. And I think this dates to about 1925 to 1931 based on what I saw on that website. Um, and I did not see any of this coral pink terrace on eBay. I did see a white one listed for that retail price. I'm not sure if that has that um, value to it. Like I said, I don't, I didn't see one of these on eBay, so that might help with the value. When I'm just not sure. I also got this. Um, I know that people do like these old jewelry boxes. I've never seen a heart-shaped one before. Unfortunately, the hinge is broken. That just happens with age. But it is still a nice functional piece. Uh, the paint is still nice on it. Uh, there's a mark right here. It looks like it says G-I-I. So I think this one is going to end up on eBay. I, I almost want to say that it was about... I think maybe one sold similar to it for like $40 or $50. So I'll probably end up listing that there. Because it's not one that I see too often. I think I've only got just a few more things and then that'll be a wrap for this video. 
Alrighty, so we are winding down from this thrift haul in New Jersey. So this you will probably see at the sale that I do with uh, Tammy, Dave, D, and Scott that's going to be on D's channel, Thrill of the Thrift. So this is a Westmoreland glass. I'm not really sure what to call it. Maybe like a... I, I really don't know what to call this. It needs a little bit of a cleanup, but it's in good shape. Somebody is going to love that. At the Goodwill, or one of the Goodwills we went to, I spotted this clock here, and it's a little different. This definitely screams like 1980s, 1990s. Very much Miami Vice looking. Uh, I just thought it was really, really cool. It looks like a tombstone almost. And like I said, this is where my tastes kind of collide. You saw all the stuff from the 30s and 40s and 50s. Even into the 60s and 70s. And then you've got stuff like that that's just really funky and cool. Like I said, that definitely screams like Golden Girls Miami Vice. But I just love that. That has a kind of like a little bit more of a modern look to it. But it's just really cool. Also at that same store, I did find this really awesome mid-century grill tray. Very, very fun and funky. The colors are just great on it. So I had to pick that up. And then, at one of the antique shops we visited, I found this awesome Donnie and Marie Osmond 45 record box. How groovy is this? It's dated 1977. Um, I looked at my invoice, and apparently this was supposed to be on sale, and it was not. So I have to call the shop back and see if they can refund me half off of what I paid for this, because... It clearly stated that that booth was half off and it did not go through. So fingers crossed that we can get it worked out and I get a refund. If not, you know, it is what it is. I think that about covers it, but I have one other piece that is just so stinking cool that I had to take home with me. And that is this guy right here. I mean, how stinking cute is he? You know, you've heard of jailbirds but you've never heard of a jail mouse or a jail rat. He's got a number on the back of him, and he's marked Dakin Dream Pets, made in Japan. And he's just so fun. I have never seen... I mean, I've seen some Dream Pets, but I've never seen this one. It's so stinking cool. I just, I love him, and he is going to live with me for all of eternity. And folks, that concludes my shopping trip in Scott Old Curiosity Shop's Neck of the Woods. Make sure that you stay tuned for our group sale, which is going to be on Dee's channel, The Thrill of the Thrift. On Friday, I will probably do a small little preview for you guys so you know where to go. And I will see you all in my next video. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>